<laughs> what? Oh, you think you're gonna run me down? That's hilarious. I've got everything I need in my life now because of my girlfriend, but there's just one thing, her dad, her cocksucking piece of shit dad, he doesn't like her and I together, and he may have tried to turn her against me, but she knew better. I could easily kill him and get him out of our lives once and for all, but for some reason she likes the old piece of shit and won't let me do anything to him. My blood began to boil when her stupid fucking dad started texting her, asking if she was with me. I had no choice but to drop her off. It was at that moment I realized I needed to find a way for her and I to leave the city and get as far away from her dad as we could. As long as her dad's around, she's never gonna really be mine. That's why I've got a plan for her and I to leave this fucking city. Leave her daddy behind. Her and I are gonna get married, start a new life. And her daddy won't be able to do anything about it. But to do that, I need a large amount of money. And that's where my dad comes in. I know my dad has a life insurance policy. And if I take him out, I'm going to get my inheritance. It was time to pay my dad a visit. Nothing is going to stop me from getting my inheritance. It's only a matter of time before my dad is dead. So I figured I'd pay my mom a visit since it was a two year anniversary of her death and shit on her grave. Yeah, fuck you, Mom. 
You shouldn't have tried to hold me down, stop me from becoming the man I am today. If only you knew when you died that I'd shit on your grave. But it doesn't matter, cause you're dead, and soon dad will be too. I could feel all the hatred and resentment that I had towards my dad growing up coming back to me as I drove to his house. It was time to settle the score, and not only would I be getting my inheritance, I would be getting rid of my piece of shit dad once and for all. Now that his dog was dead, there was no way he would know I was coming to take him out. I easily broke into his house by picking the lock. Now that I was inside, there was no way I could be stopped. I'd waited so long for this moment to finally kill my dad. thing you were ever good for was your insurance policy. This life is about power. Whoever has the biggest sack holds the most souls. And I, I have the biggest sacks. Her daddy never wanted her to use drugs, but who the hell is he to tell her what she can and can't do? That's why I got her hooked on cocaine. Shit, ain't it? <laughs> now that I got her hooked, I had to get her some more. Luckily, a friend of mine gave me the number of a transgender dealer named Rose who's supposed to have better prices than Pat. Yeah, is this Rose? Yeah, Will and Deals gave me uh, your number, said you might have what I need. That's exactly right. Okay, I can be there in an hour. Yeah.
What's up, man? What's going on? You got the stuff? You got that hundred bucks? Yeah, I got it. It's only 80 bucks here. Hey, hey! Give me my goddamn money! Give me my fucking money! Goddamn it! I fucked your mother! Well, howdy, Pat. Nice, Billy. I just uh, thought you might want to know that uh, that transgender Rose <laughs> was uh, trying to sell me some drugs today. Well, I, I know. But she tried doing it in your territory. I just thought you should know. All right. As soon as I heard that bitch was dealing in my territory, I knew I had to take action. It was time to eliminate that piece of shit. Hey, Johnny. I'm gonna need another favor from you. I'm gonna need you to kill that bitch, Rose. Alright, I'll let you know as soon as the job is done. I felt no remorse as I looked at the lifeless body. Her day had ended. Mine had just began, and it was time for me to get my next fix. Hello? Yes, yeah, me, Johnny. Officers called the lady that the Rose is dead. I'm so glad that bitch Rose is dead. Well... Come by whenever you want. I'll have your ship. Yep. I was very satisfied as soon as I found out that the Rose was dead. Not because she wouldn't be dealing in my territory anymore, but it showed how much power I really had, and it showed that if anyone fucked with me, you would end up dead. It's 
felt as if I was trapped in my own hell at the hands of my addiction, and I'd do anything to get my next fix. Because in this life, all that matters is me and getting what I need. Life is about survival. You gotta look out for yourself, do whatever it takes to get by. Some people, even us homeless scumbags, can't stand. Like that piece of shit over there selling drugs to the kids at the playground. He's gonna get his. Hey buddy, what are you doing over here? What about these? You yeah. something? Trying to look up one of the schoolgirls' shirts or what? <laughs> What you got going on? Yeah. You need something? Yeah, just yeah, wait. I don't want anything to get out. My, uh, my sister's kids go over here. I just wonder why you're hanging out. Yeah, they want some. Some kind of security clearance? You got a badge or something? I don't need any of that. I'm good sure. to go. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, just wondering. Not looking at little boys' asses, are you? Hey, what the fuck are you trying to say? You kind of told me some kind of pedo ass, man. I'm why you're over here. That's all. I'm here because I want to be here. Why are you over here? Why do you want to hang out with little kids for? That's all I was wondering. Maybe you can find your own business, Gimp. Get the hell out of here. Alright. Whatever. Not some kind of Herbert, are you? Man, get the fuck out of here. You know what? Come on. Get the fuck out of here.
take care of that son of a bitch now. What are you doing over here again, man? Did I tell you last time? I had to come back. I wanted to show you something. You ain't got nothing for me, man. By the way, did you see any little girl's panties while you're over here? Look, I got Again some. with that shit, huh? Look, again? I got something for you. Yeah, fuck you, piece of shit. It's what you get. Nobody sells drugs to kids on my watch. As soon as I found out that it was Willie Dills who killed my dealer, I knew I had to eliminate him and make sure he never interfere with my business again. I had my dad cremated. It was the cheapest thing to do. There was no way I was paying for a coffin or a burial. <laughs> and when they tried to make me buy an expensive urn to put his ashes in, I had him put his ashes in a mason jar. Yeah. Yeah, this is Billy. Well, all right. So, uh, when am I going to be getting my uh, insurance payout? What? Well, if I'm not fucking getting it, who the hell is? The fucking church! The old man set me up. The old cocksucker knew I would kill him for his insurance policy. Fuck you, Dad. Pat may have wanted Wheeling Deals dead, but I had other plans. As long as I'm taking orders from her, I'm never gonna get ahead in this life. It was time to fuck her over before she could fuck me. Johnny. Yeah. I'll just call to let you know that we are the wheels is dead. Johnny. Pat was one tough bitch, but in the end, 
She got what she deserved. I'm in charge now that that fucking cunt is dead. I didn't get my dad's life insurance payout, but luckily I had another trick up my sleeve. A friend tipped me off to where Johnny lived, and I knew he'd have a stash of drugs. If I steal it, I could sell it to make the money I need to get the fuck out of town. Jackpot. Fuck you, Johnny. I had done it. I made enough to get the fuck out of this city. I'm gonna start a new life with my girl. <laughs> now, my dad may have fucked me out of my policy, but I always find a way to get what I need. All that's left to do now is to pick her up. Hey Johnny, it's me Billy. I was just calling to say fuck you and to let you know I'm the one who stole all your drugs. I'm leaving the city tonight and by the time you get this message I'll be long gone. You won't even be able to catch me if you try.
There was no way that fucking piece of shit was going to get away with this. I was going to find him no matter what. Thank you. 